Hello, and welcome back to Vintage Story and the Aura Fury server. And I got a little more work done here. Got a little cow visiting. Just been kind of roaming the sides. Hopefully I can find another one for him. But in the meantime, I got my little barn done. I got a little overhang that I'd like to chisel some of the, the wood off of it so you can yeah, see the stone exposed. But trying to do something a little bit different using the 3x3 three three doors. Don't It's not like high capacity or anything, but I wanted it to be kind of simple. Maybe a couple crates, but got things a little bit more organized in here. <laughs> we have to label some of this stuff still a little bit more, but at least we got the start of having some of our things done. And got a little bit of Hey, back here, it's gonna use it up, but I'll collect more and a little kind of overflow something or another. I did chisel a little bit in here, but might have a, the chisels running out. And I'd like to do the inside here too to get these angles not quite so uh, sticking out and stuff, but continue outside here. Got the start of my different two different fields over here so did get them butted right up next to each other been lucky to be able to find enough terracotta to put down so I don't have quite enough seeds for four full fields but close enough we'll continue getting more stuff and back behind here on the barn just doing something a little different I want to do not quite a rectangle shape and let him just do his thing. So the next thing I wanted to work on was this kind of just, just I put stuff all over the place. So I got to get up all these flowers and dig out an area around here so that I can actually have a structure. So I decided that probably be nice to get some fencing. I guess they're on the sides. I have to move a lot of stuff. But at least collecting dirt and stuff. So that I can have, I don't know, a decent? I'm not going to want a huge. And it's not going to be totally optimized. It's kind of more for mm, the prettiness factor, I guess? The... I think it was one of the, one of the banished Mega Mods uh, apiaries had a nice little kind of uh, fence kind of thing around it and stuff, so I was kind of thinking it would be kind of like that. So just kind of build it up, <laughs> remove all this stuff again, but that's okay. I, I could probably get a little bit of bees out of it and then hopefully keep enough population around so that I can make sure I keep them populated here. So it's kind of a pain to go and gather them. So after I got this finished, I was like, okay, really need to have some sort of different roads put in here. Trying to not finalize, but refine a little bit of it as I go. I just figured it'll look a little bit nicer and neater if I can get some roadage in here. So I got like four to a side. I got to get a couple more skeps in. I got six in the middle. And then another four on that side and I have them nicely <laughs> maybe a little too nicely uh, color coded <laughs> around here with the different flowers and stuff so I'll let the bees kind of do their things and repopulate and such over here so I won't need anything more but I think it'll be enough for what I need I'll be able to get enough lanterns and it looks a nice little pretty pattern over here. I got a little roofy thing. I don't know what I'll do back there. How's something or another? I can stick my honey buckets or something. We'll see. So I had been caving also around here because I was like, okay, I need to do something a little bit different. You have to do that every so often. And I was pretty happy that I found a translocator down here. And when I moved to a different location, I intentionally brought my three uh, temporal gears, hoping that maybe I'd find something. 
and so I wanted to hook this up and see where it goes. I didn't have enough ladders on me, so of course I had to come back. <laughs> Still don't have quite enough, but block this up temporarily, just so no meanies get in there. And then we can use our metal parts and such, and our gears. And stick those guys in. I'm gonna put the metal parts in first. They want two of them. So that's kind of nice. And I thought it was gonna be four. And then every time you put a gear in, you can see some uh, different things going on. One at the top, one on the gearbox, and one on the platform. And on servers, it always takes a little bit of time here. But I'm hoping it'll be a nice and different place. And it it is. <laughs> I was happy to find out that this went a good bit south. I had traveled a little bit up there, but uh, this will take me much closer to being able to find some new things. Stick a little bit of light. And there's glowiness down there. Yep, there's, there's some friends. Uh, at least I'm not hearing any bells going off or anything. That's a, that's a different day thing. <laughs> I think that we'll explore down there some other time <laughs> and just get the goodies. Yeah, sticks, okay. It's too bad you can't pick up these chests. You can pick up the crates, but not the chests. Uh, that'd be kind of nice just for decoration. No more sticks. Okay, well I can make a couple more ladders, but unfortunately I need a, a lot more than that. I think that I will find my way back and and get more ladders and stuff so I can explore where it goes to. So I it wasn't exciting, but I just went south and then I went south like another 8,000 blocks. So I went until I could fill up a chest with some new goodies. So I was pretty happy about that. We've got some new seeds. Got amaranth seeds. They look really pretty. Soybeans didn't have any of that. Uh, sunflowers are new. So I have some of that. Got tons of flax. Uh, bell peppers and peanuts. So that I was really looking for the peanuts. Got a little bit of jungle stuff. So that's good. Got one ebony seed and a log. Got a little more kapok, which is nice because I'd like to use that. And some of the other flowers and stuff that are around. So I'm pretty happy with that. The peanuts I heard are pretty neat. And so I'm going to need a new place to plant this stuff. I definitely don't want to leave these outside, but we'll get to planting that. So cow's still around there, but I did get a little path and these bunnies are all over the place. Got a pen set up for the cow and hoping that the cow will eventually make its way over there. I didn't want to dig up any of the pond, so I'm going to have to do something about those bunnies. But I figured why not put the special seeds in the greenhouse, and then I can make sure that no bunnies get in it. <laughs> it's nice and solid. And so we still have room over here, kind of a road going west, but we'll have enough space for another greenhouse here, just kind of put it down a little bit further. And then there's still plenty of room that we could put another one beside it. And maybe another. We'll have to see about that. But I got everything put in here so that we can put in all the nice new goodies. So then I can hopefully get more seeds and get a couple scythes made up. The sunflowers have 12 stages to them, which is kind of interesting. Um, got the amaranth ones. They have nine, uh, so they're nice bright pink. And I'll have to look into this, but it appears that the bell pepper can't be planted. So it's a new seed. Maybe it's just, you know, something that's just been put in. You can only find it. Cabbages are always great. You need to have those. And I've decided parsnips because I have not been lucky to find many parsnips and I figured I might as well 
grow them in here. So just a simple little 7x7 seven seven greenhouse here. I don't have a huge selection in different kinds of stones and stuff, and I don't have I don't have a way to put like water in the corner, so I have to probably dig up a couple of the terra preta and put in some more water. Not quite like Minecraft where you could just put one little thing. Oh there, good, it's growing. I need to have that <laughs> soon. I can put one little water square in the middle and you know, it hydrates a whole lot. Now this this is a, a little bit more finicky. You need to have a little bit more water around. So I'll stick a couple more places around. And we have that mod that lets you pick up the Terra Prada. So that's pretty nice. You don't lose it after it's been tilled. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to know. <laughs> well, you might need to pick up a block. <laughs> and it really sucks wasting that. But we'll get into more and get the plants more established next time. Thanks for watching and see you later.